We're going to start off on your mat today, guys. Lay down. So, steady yourself all the way to the ground. And then bring your legs in and just give it a gentle rock side to side. And then send both your legs out and your arms out behind your head. Full body stretch. Point your toes, stretch your fingertips. And then walk your legs back in. We're going to pop your knees above your hips and then have your shins parallel with the ceiling. Arms out to the side. Try and bring your knees together and then as slowly and as gently as you can, lower it down to the right hand side. And then take a big breath in, squeeze the abs, bring it back to centre. And then as you exhale, switch it to the other side. One more each side. Inhale through centre, exhale lower. Last one. And then bring your legs back into centre. Send the hands behind the leg. And then as you inhale, rock it back. And then as you exhale, rock it up. And then take it back. Exhale, rock. Left foot. And then rock it all the way up to your tabletop position. So you've got your hands under your armpits, knees under the hips. And then we're going to inhale, send the right leg out, release the right toes down to your mat, and then try and push the heel back, stretch out the back of that leg. And then inhale, come forward onto the tiptoes, and then exhale, push the heel back, stretch out the back of that leg. Two more. Last one. And then bring that leg back in, send the left leg out. Come onto the tiptoes of the left foot. Try and push the heel back, straighten out that leg, stretch the calf. And then inhale, push forward onto the tiptoes. Exhale, push back. Two more. Last one. And then bring your knees in and release it down to your bum. You're going to cross your legs, so you're going to bring the left leg in and then the right leg. If you feel like this is slightly uncomfortable, if you've got a cushion or a block, pop it underneath your bottom. If not, try and walk your hands forward. And you can either stay on your hands if you can feel that stretch, or you can come down onto your forearms. Or if you want to take it even further, tuck your chin into your chest. And keep your seat bones down on the ground. And then nice and gently bring yourself back up and then switch your legs. So you've got your right leg, then your left leg. Get yourself nice and comfy and then walk your hands forward. Come to wherever you feel comfortable. Try and keep both seat, uh, seat bones down on the ground. Just feel a stretch in that left side.
And then nice and gently bring yourself out of that. Send the knees back behind. Spread the fingertips nice and wide. Kill the toes under. Inhale, lift up the knees. Exhale, push back. Downward facing dog. You want to be in an upside down V position. And then we're going to pedal the legs, stretch out the back of those legs. Shift the weight from one side to the other. Try and lift the tailbone, try and push the chest down and back. Inhale, bring it back to centre. Pop a nice big bend in those knees. Then we're going to step the right leg up to the front. Right knee over right ankle. Come up onto the fingertips. Lift up the chest, straighten the back. And then as you exhale, push off the back foot. Forward fold. Let everything hang. Inhale to your halfway lift. Flat back position. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lift all the way up to a mountain. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach all the way up to a mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step it back to plank. Hold that plank for a second. Try and keep your tailbone tucked on there. Keep the hips lifted. And then as you exhale, shift the weight forward, hug the elbows and lower all the way down. Come onto the tops of the feet. Elbows pulled in, shoulders pulled back. Inhale, lift up, cobra. Exhale, release. And again, inhale, lift up, cobra. Exhale, release. Last one. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up the plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto the tiptoes. And then as you exhale, send the heels to the right and the toes to the left. Try and push back into that downward facing dog position. Feeling the stretch down that left side. And then inhale through center. Exhale, switch. Heels to the left. Toes to the right. Inhale, lift up. See a downward facing dog. Pop a nice bend in the knees. Now we're going to step that left leg forward. Coming into that low lunge position, left knee over left ankle. Chest lifted back straight. As you exhale, push off that back foot, coming into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back position. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up to a mountain. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, lift up to a mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Step the left leg back then, the right, come into plank. Inhale, shift the weight forward, hug the elbows into the rib cage. Lower all the way down. Inhale, lift up, cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up, cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up. Keep the knees down. Exhale, push back. Child's pose.
Inhale, lift yourself up. Coming into a downward facing dog. Spread the fingertips nice and wide. Lift up the knees. Exhale, push the hips back. Coming to your downward facing dog. Again, inhale, lift up the right leg. As you exhale, release the right toe to the back of the left heel. And then use that right foot to try and push the left heel down. Try and straighten that leg. Try and push the chest back. Feel that stretch in that back of the left leg. Inhale, lift up the right leg. Three-legged dog. As you exhale, bend the right knee, step the right leg up. Right knee over right ankle. Drop the back knee down. Come onto the top of the back foot. Inhale, lift up, coming into crescent moon position. Try and keep that weight pushed forward. Try and push the hips forward. Relax the shoulders down and back. Exhale, release the hands down. If you've got your yoga blocks or your bean cans, part them either side of your right leg. Then as you exhale, send the hips back and fold yourself over. Stretching down the back of that right leg. If you want to take that stretch a little bit further, you can move your hands forward and pop that over. Inhale, shift the weight back forward. Move your blocks out the way. You might want to bring that right heel in slightly. You're going to plant your left hand on the inside of the right leg. And then you're going to twist round to the right hand side. And then reach the right arm up into the air. Try and stack your shoulders on top of each other. Try and pull that right shoulder back. And then if you've got the flexibility, so you're going to bend that left leg in, reach the right hand back, grab the left foot. If you can grab the left foot, you're going to try and then push the hips back forward again. So you've got a nice big bend in that front leg. Twist to the right hand side, try and pull that right shoulder back, open up the chest. If you can't reach the back foot, with your right hand, all you're going to do is pop your right hand behind your left hip and then you're going to twist and open. So just go to wherever you can go to and hold it there. If you've got your foot in your hand, you should be able to feel the stretch down the front of that left leg. And then nice and gently release that foot down. Curl the left toes under, lift up the left knee. Coming into your lower lunge position. Lift up on your fingertips, lift up the chest, pull the shoulders down and back. And then as you exhale, push off the back foot. Coming into a forward fold. Inhale for half finger. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift all the way up to a mountain. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, lift up to a mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway lift. 
exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step it back to plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Come on to the top of your feet. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, push back, downward facing dog. You're going to inhale, lift up the left leg. As you exhale, release the left toes to the back of the right heel. Try and push that right heel down. Keep trying to push the chest down and back. Stretch out the back of that right leg. Inhale, lift up the left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, pop a bend in the left knee, set the left leg up. Drop the back knee down, come on to the top of the back foot. Push the weight forward. Inhale, lift up. Present hands. Relax the shoulders. Sink those hips forward. Exhale, release the hands down. Grab your blocks so you transition start then. And then send the hips back all over that front leg. If you want to take it a bit further, you can reach them forward. Keep actively trying to push the hips back. Inhale, pop it as you bend in that front leg. You might want to bring that left heel in slightly so you've got a bit more space. You're going to plant your right hand and then we're going to twist and open to the left. Reach the left hand up in the air. Stack the shoulders. And then same again, if you can, bend your right leg in, try and reach back, grab your right foot. If you can grab your foot, then try and push your hips forward again. Twist to the left hand side and then try and pull that left shoulder back. Stretching down the front of that leg. If you can't reach your foot, reach your left hand into the air. As you exhale, send it to the back of the right hip. And then you want to try and lift your chest and then try and pull that left shoulder back. Just like that twist. And then nice and gently release that foot down. Curl the back toes down and lift up the back knee. Inhale, lift up the fingertips. We're going to lunge position. And then step that back foot up to meet the front. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. As the elbows in, lower halfway. Come on to the top of the feet. Lift yourself up. 
Working on the tops of the feet, knees up and around, and pull the shoulders back, soft elbows, lift up the chest. And then as you exhale, drop the knees down, push the hips back. Inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, we're going to go to a downward facing dog. So spread the fingertips nice and wide. Exhale, push back. Take the feet as wide as your mat. And then try and pedal the feet one at a time. Stretch out the legs. Bring it back to center. Take the right hand to the outside of the right leg. Inhale, bring the hand back. Exhale, left hand. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, pull a nice big bend in those knees and then try and hop them up to the outside of those hands. So you keep your feet nice and wide. Drop your bottom down so you're coming into a yogi squat. Bring the elbows onto the insides of the knees. Hands together, try and use the elbows to push the knees down. If you've got a cushion or a block, you can always pop that over your bra. If you feel like you need a little bit of support. If you can get your heels down on the ground, then go for it. Really try and push those knees out with those elbows. Try and lift up the chest, just keeping the back nice and straight. And then as you exhale, release the hands down. Walk the hands as far forward as you can get them. Reach, reach, reach. Try and lift up the bum slightly. Tuck the chin into the chest. And then walk those hands back in. Drop your bum down onto the ground and then bring your feet together, knees nice and wide. And you can hold onto your feet if you want to, shuffle your bum in. And then trying to push your knees down, you can use your elbows to help if needed. And then nice and gently release. Bring those knees together, feet flat on the floor. Pop your hands behind so you can either have your fingers pointing towards your bum or you can have your fingers pointing out to the side so if it feels like it's a bit tight on the wrist. Then we're going to inhale, lift up the hips, take them as high as you can. Reverse tabletop. Keep trying to lift up the hips. Feel a good stretch down those shoulders. Push through the heels. You can relax your head back if that feels comfortable. Or look forward if not. And then nice and gently lower the hips down. And then coming back onto your hands and knees. We're going to come into a downward facing dog. So spread the fingertips nice and wide. Come into plank. And then exhale. Back into your down dog. Again, inhale, lift up the right leg. Pop a nice big bend in that right knee. Bend the right foot over to the left. Try and open up that hip. You might draw a circle with your toes. 
or you might draw a big circle with that knee. Really try and open up that hip. And then inhale, I'll send that right leg back, three legged dog. Exhale, step that right leg up. Right knee over right ankle. Lift up to present lunge. Try and level up your hips, pull the shoulders down and back. Straighten that right leg. Exhale, twist around into the warrior two. Back foot parallel the back of the mat. Front foot facing forward. Pull the shins to the back. And then make sure you can see your front big toe. If you can't, try and push your right knee out. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Send the hips to the back of the mat. Reach the right hand forward. And then as you exhale, bring the right hand down to the ground. You've got your block or your beam cat. Pop your hand onto that. Left arm up in the air. Try and pull that left shoulder back. Stack the shoulders on top of each other. Try and tense that right thigh. So you're trying to lift that kneecap so that quad's engaged. Try and add that stretch to the hamstring. And then pretend you've got a wall behind you and you're trying to lean into that wall. To feel the stretch down that left hip. Inhale, pop a bend in that front. Back into your warrior two. And then twist round on the back foot, come back into the present lunge. As you exhale, twist round to the right hand side. We're going to plant the left hand on the inside of the right leg. And then twist and open. Sending the right arm up into the air, try and pull that right shoulder back. Feeling a stretch down the outside of that right leg. And then release your hands down. Release that left knee down. You're going to send your right leg out behind onto the tip toes of the right, uh, right foot. You're going to swing the left foot round to the left. You're going to plant your left hand. You're going to twist round, send the right arm up into the air. So you want your left arm, left knee, and your right foot. Try and lift the hips up, but try to push the hips forward all at the same time. And then as you exhale, reach that right arm to the front of the mat. Feel the stretch down that right side. Exhale, release that hand leg down. Step that right foot up. We'll lift up that back right knee. And then we're going to twist, plant your left hand, sorry. Turn your right toes to the right. Coming onto the outer edge of the left foot. Try and drop your hips down. And then send that right arm behind. So your right foot is planted on the floor, toes facing out to the right, and you're on the outer edge of that left foot. Hips don't have to touch the floor, just sagging down. And then unravel yourself, curl the back toes under, set the right leg back, coming back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, let's lift up the left leg. Right? Pop a nice big bend, open up that hip. And then draw a circle of those toes, or maybe with the knee. Open that hip. 
Inhale, send the left leg back. Three legs up. As you exhale, step that left leg up. Inhale, left up, present. Level off the hip, straighten that back leg. Exhale into your warrior two, twist around on the back foot. Make sure you can see that front big toe. Inhale, straight on the front, send the hips back, reach the left arm forward. And then send the left hand down to the ground or to your block. Reach the right arm up. Try and pull that right shoulder back. Engage that left thigh, lift the kneecap, and then imagine you've got a wall behind you just leaning in. Inhale, lift back up. The warrior two. Twist round on the back foot. Present lunge. Exhale, twist to the left. Plant your right hand down on the inside of the left foot. Twist and open to the left hand side. Left arm up in the air. Try and pull that right shoulder, left shoulder back. And then release the left hand down, release the right knee down. Again, send the left leg back, coming onto the tiptoes of the left foot. Swing the right toes round to the right. So plant the right hand, push the hips forward, lift up the left arm. So you've got a nice line and from your right hand to your right knee to your right left foot. And then as you exhale, reach the left hand to the front of the head. Try and lift the hips up. Try and push the hips forward. You should feel the stretch down that left side. And then nice and gently release the left hand down. Get the right toes back towards the back of the mat. Again, step your left leg up. Plant your right hand. Step the right leg back, lift up the right knee. Twist your left toes towards the left, coming onto the outer edge of your right foot. Try and drop the hips down, reach the left arm back. And then unravel yourself. Bring that back foot up, meet the front, forward fold. Inhale, feel halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift all the way up, tall mountain. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up the arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale to find. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up, cobra. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lift up. Take your knees as wide as you can get them. Toes pointing towards each other and then sink the hips back. Try and get them all the way back to the heels. And then root the arms forward. Lower the head down to the mat.
And then nice and gently bring yourselves back up. Pull up the knees back in. Spread the fingertips nice and wide. Lift up to a wide leg. Downward facing dog. So you've got your legs nice and wide. I'm going to try a bit of balance in now. So you're going to take your right hand to the outside of the right leg or the inside, depending on which one's better for you. And then you're going to try sending the weight into the right hand side. Try and hover the left leg in the air. Might not get very hard. And then release that left leg down. Release the right hand down. And then we're going to take it to the left hand side. And then try and hover your right leg in the air. And then release that leg down. Pop the feet up to the front of your mat. Keeping the legs nice and wide. You're coming into the wide leg. Forward fold. Let everything hang. And then we're going to plant the right fingertips down on the mat. Pop a nice big bend in that right knee. And then twist them open to the left hand side. Just feel a nice stretch down the back of that left leg. And then release the left hand down, pop a nice big bend in that left knee, straighten your right leg, and then reach the right arm up to the sky. You should feel a good stretch down the back of the right leg this time. Release the hands down. Inhale for your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hand to the heart. Bring the feet back in so you're about hip distance apart. Pop a nice big bend in the knees. Sit the bottom back. Inhale, reach up the arms. Exhale, swoop them down. Inhale, reach them up. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, step it back behind. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come back up to your bottom. We're going to try some hip stretches now. So send your right leg out behind and you've got your left leg in front. You want to get your shin parallel with the front of your mat. And then I want you to try and flex your left foot so your left toe is pointing towards the top of your mat. Keeping that leg where it is, I want you to try and fold over that leg. So you might find that you only come to here and you can feel that stretch, that's fine. If you want to take it a bit further, come down onto your forearms. And then if you want to take it further again, release your head down. Keep trying to actively flex that foot and push that right leg as far left as you can get it.
and then nice and gently give yourself a power cat walk. Run your left hand down on the ground, grab your right foot, try and send your right knee back as far as you can get it. You can bring your left heel in slightly if that makes it more comfortable. Trying to push your right hip forward, but trying to push your right knee back. Just your stretch down the front of that thigh. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can always come onto the forearm. Trying to push the hips forward, trying to pull the right shoulder back. And then release that one, taking it to the other side. So you've got your right shin parallel with the front of the mat. Flex your right foot so you've got your toes pointing to the front of the mat. Send that left leg out behind. Make sure you've got it parallel with the front and then hold yourself over to wherever you feel comfortable. And then bring yourself up. Hold on your right hand, bend your left leg right in, rub your left ankle. Try and push your left knee back or push your left hip forward, stretching out the front of that quad. If you want to take it a bit further, you can come onto the forearm. Try and pull that left shoulder back. And then nice and gently swing those legs back to the front. Send them out nice and long. Pull your bum cheeks out diagonally. So you've got your nice flat seat. Inhale, reach up. And then as you exhale, forward fold. You can reach your toes, stay where you are. If you can't quite reach your feet, pop your hands underneath your chin back to the calves and then try and pull yourself in. If you can reach your heels and find this a little bit too easy, you've got a block or a cushion or a book, anything, grab onto that, pop it in front of your feet, grab onto the block, book or whatever it is you've got and then try and push the legs down to the ground, straighten the legs down.
gently bring it back up. Slide your bum forward, rock it back, and release it all the way down to the ground. And then interlace the fingers, hug the right leg in, turn the left leg out, hover the left leg just above the mat. And then try and lift the head, the neck, the shoulders. Try and get your nose to your knee. And then after three, we're going to let go. Trying to keep your nose at your knee or as close to your nose as you can get it. And three, two, one. Release those hands. Try and keep that nose on the knee. Three, two, one. And release. Bring everything down to the ground. Plant your feet on the ground. And then one screen wipe the leg side to side. Just release those hips. And then bring them back to centre. Interlace the fingers, hug the left knee in, send the right leg out. Hover the right leg just above the mat. And then inhale, lift the head and hit the shoulders, showing that your nose to your knee. And then after three, you're going to let go. Try and keep your nose as close to your knee as possible. Three, two, one, release. Three, two, one. Gently release everything down to the ground. Pop your knees, uh, pop your knees, pop your feet down. Drop your knees side to side. And then stretch your legs out. Bring your legs out long, point the toes, stretch as far as you can. Send the hands up behind the head, full body stretch. And then bring the hands back in, either by your sides or resting on the stomach. Close your eyes, let everything go heavy, sink into the mat. Well done guys, bring yourself back round. Just stop recording.